This, this group of students and community members is here to express concern and support about how support for students um, and concern for how the administration is willing to um, arrest and bring police onto campus, which is supposed to be a safe space for students. Some of the students had also seized Hamilton Hall, an academic building, and a line of officers climbed into the second story using a police vehicle with a ladder. The NYPD released video of the raid on X with a statement saying the school had requested assistance to take back their campus. Shortly after officers had moved in, Columbia University President Manoush Safiq requested that police stay on campus until at least May 17th, two days after graduation, saying in a letter it was, quote, to maintain order and ensure that encampments are not reestablished. We will always protect the right to protest, but we must balance that right with the right to keep students, the school, and our city safe. We cannot and will not allow what should be peaceful, a peaceful gathering to turn into a violent spectacle that serves no purpose. Protesters say they have three demands from Colombia, divesting from companies supporting Israel's government, greater transparency in university finances, and amnesty for students and faculty disciplined over the protests. This week, Safiq said Colombia would not divest from finances in Israel, but offered to invest in health and education in Gaza and also make Colombia's holdings more transparent. Colombia has been the focal point of a wave of protests across the United States. To say something is genocide when it's not, one thing. To say you don't like it, one thing. But to totally have to distance yourself forever from any word Israel so that you could have a normal life is literally the purpose of anti-Semitism. It's to invoke so much fear in you where it's F everything and run or face everything and rise. And that's what I try to, to do as a, just a Jewish person, you know what I'm saying? We are troubled by a series of heavy-handed steps taken to disperse and dismantle protests across university campuses in the United States of America. Freedom of 